Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today, we're going to make faux pocket envelopes. But first, let's have our shout out to Tattered Treasures by Patty, Viola, Zombie Queen, Bella, Connie, Carol, Gina, Pebbles, Vicki, and Dorothy. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, this is kind of like another scrap buster. So I went into my drawer that I keep my cardstock, my printed cardstock, and I've just pulled out a few. Then I went to my other drawer where, where I have my copy weight papers, and I pulled out a few of those as well. Then I have some coffee dyed paper that I had really fun with. I put some coffee splatters and some white paint splatters on it. I just was having a good time with that. Then I have my corner round, corner rounder stamps, corner rounder, corner decorated stamps, corner, you know what I'm trying to say. And I have my little pearl gems and my little plexiglass to hold my stamps, my vintage photo, a bone folder, a corner rounder, my scissors, and a ruler and a pencil. So now let's just begin. So I have made a whole bunch of these, you guys. I just think they're so much fun and I find them to be extremely, extremely pretty. I really like them. So I think what I might like to do is maybe let's just go with this one right here. And I am just going to fold this, and you can make them absolutely any size you want. This one's not going to be very big. Uh, any size. I have quite a few, like I was saying, to show you at the end. In fact, I'm not even sure I should show them all to you because I have that many. <laughs> I really kind of got carried away with making them. But... I've made them in all different sizes, so you can make them in different sizes too. And I sewed mine. I didn't use glue, so let's use glue this time and not sew it, and then we can see what that looks like as well. So what we want to do is you have folded it in half, any size you want, bigger or even smaller, wider or skinnier taller, shorter, whatever shape you want it to be, that's the shape you should make. So we're going to round off the tops right here just like this. And then we're going to take our ink and we're going to ink all the way around the edge. You guys have added a new button to my videos and it's called Super Thanks. And if any of you want to do super thanks, what I'm doing with that is that I am going to build another studio so that I can do lives and go live once a week. I think that would be so much fun to do a live once a week. Okay, so let's see. Let's get this going here. This is my art glitter glue, and I find that it, uh, it seals very quickly. So I'm just going to place, now the only thing I can say with the glue is that glue does spread. And so you will need to be mindful about how large of a, of a piece you can put inside because it does spread so. In fact, I'm wiping it off just a little because it does spread. All right, so now I'm going to shut it and wipe up all my glue that I've got going everywhere and close this up just like that. All right, now I'm going to set this aside for just a second because it needs to, to grab. Now let's go to our coffee dyed paper. Now you can do it the long way or you can do it the short way. It doesn't matter. So let me just show you here. I am going to use my little pocket that we just made 
and I am going to use it to determine that I need to, oh, I just lost all my uh, marker stuff out of that pencil. So I'm going to, I'm using this. This is the end right here on this line. I'm going one line in, line here. I'm going one line in. Hopefully that will be enough. Hopefully the glue did not spread so far that I'd have to move it in even further. But it's okay if we do, we do. We will cross that bridge when we come to it. And so I'm going to just line this up very quickly just so I can cut a fairly straight line. And I am going to trim this just like this. So I'll go on the uh, inside of the line to make it even smaller. I think that might help. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and ink all the way around. So I'm just going to do that extremely quickly here. Okay, it's probably probably good enough. Uh, yeah, as you can see on my other ones, I really inked it well, but you get the idea. Now we're going to take these two corners right here and we're going to fold it down to make a point. So <laughs> it's arguing with me here a little bit. There we go. We're going to fold it down to make a point. I'm going to bring in my Tombow glue and I'm just going to glue these little flaps down just like this. And I'm going to bring in my ink and I'm going to ink right here. Now what I'd like to do is I would like to take my end that has the folded, the point, and I'm going to pull it, pull it over. And I'm looking at this spot right here. I'm looking at the spot between, at this point, down. And I'm going to pull it down quite a bit. So how about if we pull it down a good half an inch? Okay, so we have pulled it down a good half an inch. And now we're going to ink that spot just like that. Now we're going to use our little pocket and we're going to see how much are we going to have to fold it. So let's fold it up here like this and then let's fold it down just like this a little bit more down. There we go. So I just use it as a template so that the paper is going to fit inside of the pocket. So of course you're going to want to ink it on the this way and you're going to have to turn it this way and ink it this way as well. There we go. Now we're going to fold this so it's just like that. Actually, you could fold it anyway. Just, just We just need to fold it. And we're going to open it back up. And I'm actually going to ink this spot right here of that fold. And this is where we're going to bring in our copy weight paper. And you're going to look, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to look at your pocket and you're going to say what do I think goes with this that I have enough of that I can cover that point with. So I don't know if I have anything, maybe this. Okay, this. I don't have enough to cover this point. I'm lacking a little bit right there. So this piece is not big enough for this size. So <clears throat> actually think this is kind of pretty so let's just <clears throat> excuse me let's just go ahead and use this so the easiest way I know how to do this is I just take my glue and I just cover this part with the glue just like that and then I take my paper and I place it right in the crease so we're covering up the part with the um, where we folded it. So we've got those folds. So I'm just placing my 
paper right here and pressing it down, making sure I can still fold it and it's not going to crease my paper. So it's not creased at all. Do you see what I mean by not, it folds, it's not creased at all. And then I'm going to just trim it. So I'm just going to cut it off right here so I can save that piece because you know how we are about saving our pieces. Okay, we're just trimming it just like this. Getting it trimmed. All right, so now it's all trimmed. Let me move this out of the way real quick. I'm going to need these. And you're going to say, where'd you get those, Kathy? <laughs> those were once some of those that I bought when the person, when I was on my phone and somebody was having a sale and I went to it. And I have no idea who they were. But anyway, if you just get on Amazon and you punch in clear stamps, I think you will find similar things. All right, so now we look like this. Okay, just like this. Now we're going to turn this over. So now we're on this side of the point, and that's where I'm going to select one of my stamps. I think that will be fine. I'm going to put it on my plexiglass right here, and I'm going to ink it up with my vintage photo. I need to wipe off a little bit. Ink got on it right here. I want to get that off. All right, I'm going to turn it over and I'll put it right on the point. Just like this. Oh my goodness, isn't that cute? That's so cute. There's a, ooh, that was hurting my eyeballs. All right, isn't that adorable? So adorable. Now, what I'd like to do is move this out of the way. And I'm going to put just a tiny little dot right here at the point. And I'm going to get a little bit of glue onto my pin. I'm going to lift off a little pearl right here and place it right there. Isn't that sweet? My goodness, that is so sweet. Alrighty, so now what I want to do is I want to take this, and hopefully it's the right size, and we're going to stick it right in to our, oh, for heaven's sakes, no, I didn't glue this thing shut. There we go. We're going to stick this right in here. Oh, does it fit? It fits. And there you go. So you can put this on a flip. You could add a little section of paper right here so you can make yourself a hinge. You could glue this down onto the page of your journal. You could put it into a pocket, but all you have to do is when you take this out, then you have all this journaling space. Isn't that adorable? Oh my goodness, you guys. I absolutely love these things. Absolutely love them. I think they look beautiful. Just beautiful, you guys. Look how many that I've made. And you can see. See? I look, I made all of these. So I made this one. Now these are all the same paper. I mean all those the coffee dyed paper with the little splatters. And I made this one. Oh, let me show you the part that's inside. So this is what's inside. And then this one is what's inside. Here's one that's bigger, like this. And then there's this one. Okay, I'm going quickly so you can see because I have so many of them, but they're all so beautiful. I can't really choose which one I want to show you and which one I don't want to show you because I really think that if you see how many different... Now here, there's a book page. You can use a book page inside. How many different options that you can have? You can have all kinds of options. <laughs> I love them, you guys. I hope you love them as much as I do and you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up and I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.